the Philippines by basically is a Christian nation, right? We were brought up being religious people. When we say religious people, you go to church every Sunday, in the Philippines at least, and then listen to, what you do is you listen to the preaching, amen? You listen to the sermon of the priest. You listen to the preaching of the pastor. What you're doing is, you are receiving the gifts that God gave to the pastor. Listen to me now, okay? You are now consuming the gifts that God has given to the pastor. Where in fact, each and every one of you has a gift to contribute to the body of Christ. Sad to say, some, some, some Christians, they go, they go listen to, to uh, the preaching of the pastor, they go out and be blessed, go, go and then to the, to all the week, through the week, the days of the week, they go through their own thing, they work, right? Never realizes that God has given something to them, entrusted something to them, so that this will be used for the body of Christ. This will be used for the furtherance of God's kingdom. This will be used to bring souls to the foot of the cross. Amen. So today I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to prove that to you. That all of you, you may have a gift, a talent, that you have, do not, know, you have not yet noticed. Amen. So you know, what is your talent? Yeah. <laughs> Meron, meron, meron nag-post sa FB, no? Meron nakalagay sa FB, no? Meron nag-post sa FB, di ba? Saan ka magaling? Ano yung tanong na yan? Ano ang special skill mo? May nagsabi doon, no? Special skill ko, umubos ng isang kalderong kanin. <laughs> And that is a skill. <laughs> umubos ng isang kalderong kanin. God created us with a purpose. Amen? God created you with a purpose. Huwag mong paniwalaan na baliwala ka sa mundo. Huwag mong paniwalaan na baliwala ang buhay mo. Mahalaga ang buhay mo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, mahalaga ang buhay mo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are valuable in the eyes of God. Amen? You are valuable in the eyes of God. If somebody, if somebody calls you, ano, somebody, somebody calls you, you know, ang pang, pango, ang, ang, pango ang ilong mo, sabi mo sa kanya, inggit ka lang. <laughs> diba? <laughs> we are made differently. Okay, so let me, let me go down to our preaching today. We have concluded our series on uh, Entrusted with the Secrets of the Kingdom. If you were here, I hope everybody, or most of you have completed this, this, uh, this series, no? We spoke about 10 parables. Parables to assure us, to check our hearts if we are really saved. 10 parables that will make us sure and confident that when the time comes and we face the white throne judgment, hindi po tayo nanginginig, papasok kaya ako, hindi. You know, that we will be excited to face judgment. And um, this opened our eyes so that our hearts will be checked and be assured of that. And we, we can be assured ourselves that when we face this white throne judgment, we will be confident and excited Instead of trembling in fear and wallowing in uncertainty, if we will be accepted to step in the gates of heaven. John the Beloved sternly reminded us in his first letter with these words, And now, dear children, continue in him, so that we, when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. There are two things that I would like to First John chapter 2 verse 28. Memorize that. Memorize that and not only memorize it but work on it. Amen. See, salvation and judgment are two distinct events in a Christian's life. Salvation and judgment are two distinct events in a Christian's life. It's like your death, your birthday and your death day 
are two distinct events. Amen? I, I heard this, uh, this story. I read the story over the net. It says, you know, there was this, uh, in a court, in a court, there was this lady who was being tried. The lady was guilty. She was guilty. She was guilty of adultery. She was guilty of prostitution, of lying, of thievery. And the judge knew that he was guilty. And then when the judge called the lady to tell him that you are guilty and the punishment that he, he, she, she, she will be um, um, suffering because of the things that she has done. Then suddenly, somebody stood up. Suddenly, someone stood up and lawyered before her. No, he lawyered before her. He said that, you know, he said so many things. So many things that God, that person, shared in court. So many things that the judge finally decided, okay, I am acquitting you. Hello? The, sin, the, 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 the woman who was so sinful, supposed to be judged, the judge says, I am acquitting you. And of course, the woman was so, was so happy, right? He was so happy, went out of the court and did the same thing again. Did the same thing again. He stole, continued with his adulterous relationship, continued prostitution, continued to lie until she was caught again. She was caught again. And then she was brought to the court. But this time, the man who lawyered in, his behalf, in her behalf is now the judge. He was the judge sitting now. And then all of the, all of the uh, proof showed that she was guilty. And the woman was smiling. She was smiling. She said, I know this guy. This guy will acquit me. Because he, he, he helped me before. Why will he not help me now? I know this guy. And she was like smiling enticingly to the judge. But when the gable sounded, he says, I find you guilty. And you will be now incarcerated for the rest of your life. And then she was so, she was stunned. Nagulat siya. She was so stunned. And then, she, can I, can, he said, can I approach the, 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 can I approach you, judge, please? So he went to the judge and said, she asked, why did you do that? I thought, you know, kala ko close tayo. <laughs> I, I thought you will acquit me because, you know, you like me, right? Yeah, I like you. He said, I, in fact, I love you. During that first time we met, he says, I was your savior. But now, I am your judge. During salvation, Jesus is our savior. No matter what you have done. No matter what you have done. All we need to do is to go and declare and receive him. Accept him as our savior and lord. And the Bible says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. But you can only claim that if you have received Jesus Christ. The Bible says, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus. And so, so, so ever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. But not all of those who call in come judgment day, not all of those who call Jesus Christ Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of God. Are you with me? Alam nyo po, I've been, I've been drilling this to this church family for so long. For many times. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, do you really understand this? Do you really understand this? 
You know, you were saved by the blood of Jesus. And let's give the Lord a clap offering for that. <laughs> Amen. But be excited. But then again, we will be judged later. Listen here. Salvation through Jesus Christ have, you know, have written our names in the Lamb's book of life. When you, the moment you receive Jesus Christ, your name shall be written in the Lamb's book of life. The blood of Jesus is the ink that have written your names in the Lamb's book of life. Kaya sabi mo sa katabi mo, wag ka magpalit ng pangalan. No, malito si Jesus, ha? Ko? <laughs> yeah, sa, sa, um, sa, sa umaga, pangalan ko, Heneroso. Sa gabi, Gina. <laughs> wag ka magpalit ng pangalan. <laughs> <laughs> well, judgment, you see, are, are, you, are you understanding what I'm saying here? Amen. The moment you receive Jesus Christ, you are saved. Okay, but you need to prove. You need to prove that you love Jesus Christ, that you really have received Him. God cannot be mocked. So, in the same way, we can't be mocked God. God cannot be mocked. By your fruit, you shall be known. Amen. By your fruit, you shall be known. And Jesus Christ said, He Himself said, You see, if you love me, you will obey. Listen here. Judgment now is the crucial event that all humanity shall face when we face the great white throne judgment. Revelation chapter 20, verse 12. Revelation chapter 20, verse 12 tells us, And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books will be opened. Books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. The death were judged according to what they have done as recorded in the books. Now, in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27 to 10, 28, it says here, We shall all be judged, and the books that will be opened before us at the white throne judgment will be used to prove that we indeed receive Jesus Christ. Hebrews 9 says, Just as people are destined to die once, and then after that, to face judgment. So Christ was sacrificed once to take away the sins of many. And He will appear a second time, not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for Him. The key words is waiting for Him. And how do you wait for Him? Remember the parable of the ten virgins. Amen. Jesus Himself, Lovingly reminded us in John chapter 14, verse 23 to 24. Does anyone who loves me will obey my teaching? My Father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. And this is scary. The, the next line is scary. He says, anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, do you love Jesus? And ask the, your katabimo, if you love Jesus, do you know His commands? And do you not only know His commands, do you obey His commands? Do you obey His commands? Our next series, listen, you see, the key word in our, the next series that we're going to discuss in, uh, for the next 10 meetings, the key word is books. Books. The key word is books. On our next series, we will be learning from the stories of Bible characters whose lives were already written in their personal books, in the, written in the white throne judgment. We will learn from them. We will learn their character, their personalities, their strength and weakness, and the faith that were built up through the love, through their love for God. Amen. Now, allow me to keep, kick off the series that I have entitled, Writing My Stories in Heaven. Wow. Ganda. Sino nagda-diary? Oh, di ba? Di na nagda-diary. Come on, nagda-diary. Oh. Siguraduhin nyo lang na yung diary nyo, totoo, hindi diary. Oh, di ba? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, remember, ah, huh? yung diary niya, baka mamaya, diary, ah, huh? hindi diary. Yeah. Okay, so, writing my stories in heaven. This is, this is the, 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 the anchor title of our series, the 10 series, no? 
and I and 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 then allow me to kick off the series with my personal testimony, with my stories in the books. Okay, ba? Okay. Some of you know, already know my testimony, uh, especially yung mga <coughs> matatanda na. <laughs> yung <coughs> yung mga <laughs> but again we have we have we have many new ones right we have all, also we have nine guests today palakpakan natin ulit natin mga guests yeah thank you for being with us and so that you can we come to know who your pastor is no your tatay is your father is, your your da, uh, papi your papi is and i have entitled today's word Kapatid, ano kaya ang istorya mo sa langit? Wow. In English? Alan, ano English? This is interesting, you know? <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Brother, what is your story? <laughs> Pangit eh. <laughs> Pangit sa tinga. Inglesin mo nga, ano? Uh, Dre, inglesin mo. <laughs> Loading pa. <laughs> Our anchor verse will come from 2 Corinthians 5.17. Actually, this is my life's verse. 2 Corinthians. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. You know, if you are a person who do not, who, who do not believe that you will change, you are wrong. If you are a person who thinks that nobody can change you, you are wrong. If you are in Christ, you are a new creation. You are a new person. The past has gone, and behold, the new has come. What does that mean? That means that your past, no matter what you have done, is already erased. Amen? By the blood of Jesus. Now you can always start off. You know, I remember during the time when, uh, during the time when I was I was a religious person. But God has no influence in my life, and I still, you know, I go to church, and then after that, I go I go out and drink, and go out and you know in the evening, women left and right. You know, I so there are times when you know I'm a war freak before. I used to be a war freak, and you know. <laughs> Sino ba naka-experience na po dito yung nagiinom tapos, you know, pag sa kabilang table may tumingin sa'yo, sasabihin mo, bakit ka tumitingin? May gusto ka sa'kin? Sa <laughs> mga, di ba? Ayan, mga gano'n, di ba? Uh, bad boy eh. Bad boy. I never thought that I can. I never thought I can change. I never thought I can change. But then again, God proved that His Word can be trusted. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, God, His words can be trusted. Amen? As, and this is who I am right now. I have been crucified, as Paul said. I have been crucified with Christ. And I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Before, pa before Paul became Paul, he used to be Saul. And Saul used to be, uh, used to be, used to belong to uh, 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 teachers of the law. He's, he used to be a teacher of the law. He knows scripture. Hello, he knows the Mosaic law. And in fact, he was fighting for it. Now I asked God one, one time, I asked I ask God, you know, Lord, was Paul wrong? Was Saul wrong when he fought to protect the scripture that he knows? Was he wrong? You know, the, through the Bible, <laughs> through the Bible, God spoke to me and he said, you know, he, he is right. He is right. He is sincere. But he is terribly wrong. Because he was protecting and fighting the religion that he has. Hello? But not the God who is the 
who is the uh, object of the religion. Are you with me? Yeah? So he fought. He fought for it until finally he met God. He met Jesus Christ. He was on his way in the road in Damascus going to, to, to persecute the Christians when God showed himself to him. Who here have, uh, can say that God really showed himself to me? Amen? Praise the Lord. No, nahiya pa iba. Who here? Come on, come on. Show of hands. Who himself? Yeah. Right? God personally have showed himself to you. Praise the Lord. And then his life was never the same again. He was saying here, I've been crucified with Christ and I no longer, with, I no longer live. He was saying that all the things that I have learned when I was still, in, uh, when I was still small growing up, all the things that I've learned my religion, I already have thrown it away. I am no longer that. I am now Jesus Christ. I now, Jesus Christ now lives in me. Amen? He, I no longer li live my own understanding. I now live through Christ. The life I live now in the body, says I live by not, not by my own thoughts of what is good and evil, what, not because of, what, of religion and what I know about religion. He says I live by faith in the Son of God. Sabi mo, sa, sabi mo sa katabi mo, total reliance on God. <laughs> Amen. Total reliance on God. Sabi nga kanina, sino nang tumaas tayo dito kanina? You know, you have to trust God. Si Alin, ano? Y in, ano yung interesting, ano mo? Interesting. May, may, may interesting uh, testimony, right? Si Alan, interesting. <laughs> si, ano din, si Dino, di ba? Si Dino, ah, si Dino. Right? Uh, kapag yung tin tinatrabaho mo sarili mo, no? ikaw mismo, sarili mong lakas, wala, mangyari, di ba? But the moment you give it, up, give it up to Jesus Christ, and then something happens. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise God. On. Because I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. No matter how we think about ourselves, how badly, how badly we think about ourselves, about what the world made us to be. Amen? He loved us so much. In fact, He died while we were still sinners. Siguro po dito, who here uh, have invited friends and then the response you received is that later, later na, I'm not prepared. Right? You invite them and later na, I'm not prepared. And some even say, uh, later na, baka mamaya, masunog ako pagdating sa church mo. Sabi mo sa kanya, ngayon pa lang, sunog ka na. Hindi, huwag mo sabihin yun. Huwag <laughs> mo sabihin yun. Huwag mo sabihin yun. Huwag <laughs> mo sabihin yun. Later on na, in, inside them, in that, inside that person, hindi ko pa mabitawan ito eh. Hindi pa ako ready. Amen? Jesus Christ did not wait until you are ready. All you need to do, accept Him. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, Accept muna. Kapag inaccept muna siya, and then miracles will happen in your life. Let me just share with you my life's testimony. Who was I? Who I was before? Who was I? Who am I? Sabi ko na, may kakanta eh. Sinasabi ko na, may kakanta. Alright, yun. Who am I? Who was I before? You know, I, I grew up in a, I grew up in a very religious family. Very religious family. Every Sunday, my mother and my father, you know, brings us to church and we occupy the same pew every time. Nobody sits there <laughs> except us. You know? I, I, I know, um, I grew up standing when the, the priest says stand, sit down when the priest says sit down, kneel when the priest says kneel down. You know, everything that they do in, inside the church, I do. But outside the church, I do things on my own. Amen? Right? But, you know, our, our parents raised us up to be God-fearing men, fearing men and women. Taught us how to live a good, uh, 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 to be a good, a good, good person, no? Good people. When I was 
until I was in third year high school. I was living, uh, as my mother described me, I'm like an angel. Oh, angel, oh. angel, oh. all right. You know, <laughs> you know why? You know, because my two brothers before me, my two brothers, you know, one is, one is a womanizer. He never accepted that, uh, he denied that he is an alcoholic. And my brother also, my brother is a womanizer. The next, my next brother is a womanizer also. Loves, you know, to, to drink. And he is, uh, you know, he is a, tawag dito yung starter sa away. You know, he loves to fight. No? He loves to fight. In fact, one semester, for one semester, he told my mom, no, he made my mom and my dad think that he enrolled one semester. But they found out, they, he, he did enroll. But not in school. He enrolled himself in a karate class. <laughs> That's crazy, right? In a karate class, really? Because he really wants to fight. He really wants to fight. And all of these flaws and the characters of my br two brothers, I became better than them. I became better than them. But when did this start? When I started to look at the world. Why is it that I do not have this? Why is it that I'm not enjoying my life as, as they are enjoying? Bakit kaya wala akong girlfriend? Sila ang dami nilang girlfriend. Kasi ako naman study ng study, aral ng aral. Until finally, I was consumed by the world. Amen? The world defined me. The world defined me. I started to believe in myself. Oh, <laughs> I started... <laughs> Yeah, I started from an angel. I became a fallen angel. <laughs> yeah, I started to uh, be tough and show other people how tough I was. I started to, you know, believe so much in myself. Ang guapo ko kaya noon. Noon yon. Ngayon guapong guapo na. Dahil kay Cristo, kayo naman. This car? Huwag na lang yan. Huwag ko na kwento yung car na yan. <laughs> I, I felt that I was on top of everyone else. You know, nobody can harm me. Nobody can harm me. Suspended dito pa rin. No? Nobody can harm me. I, I really believe in my own strength. But I was so deep into alcohol. I was deep into alcohol. I used drugs. Buti nga, walang shabu noon eh. Hindi pa uso. Marijuana. You know? Cup syrup. Yung mga inabot nyo noon. Mga cup syrup na may mga codeine. Ha? Ay, hindi ako nag-rugby. <laughs> hindi ako nag-rugby. Ang cheap naman noon, ano? Rugby, no? <laughs> rugby. <laughs> <laughs> Mura lang kasi, no? But this life, you know, this life I enjoyed. I enjoyed this life before. Only to find out that the joy that I was experiencing, the happiness, was very temporary. But listen, I'll, I'll give you a, a secret, you know. I pray. Even though I was a, a sinner, I pray. And the good thing is that God heard my prayer. God heard my prayer. You know, every time I, I drink, there was even a time I was so drunk, I went to UST, UST Church. I went to UST Church, and I went there, and I went to this small child there. And I spoke to that small child, you know, yeah, tanggalin mo na ito. Ayoko na maging lasing. Ayoko na. Yeah. 
Ayoko na, sabi kong ganun. Because you know, I was feeling so, nothing is happening in my life. But you know what? Hindi si Nino, no? Kasi lumaki na yun, eh, di ba? But God heard me when I cried out. Hindi na niya hinintay na ako'y magbago. Hindi na niya hinintay na ako'y maging mabuting tao. Bago niya ako sagutin. Pero alam niyo kung paano niya ako sinagot? na aksidente ako. I, I was, you know, driving my car and I had an accident. Kaya nabawasan ng gandang lalaki ko. <laughs> Nagkaroon nito. Huh? Napilay ako. Napilay ako. But, for one year after that accident, lalo ako nagkaroon ng hatred in my heart. I became worse than who I was before the accident. Worse, really worse. Until finally, I spoke to God again. I said, Lord, wala na akong, wala na akong nakikitang future. And then I asked this question, pwede ba kayang ulitan? Can I start my life all over again? In my mind, he says, that is an impossible request. You cannot, right? Until finally, you see, God knows us. Until finally, I met a lady. Oh, she, was, she was beautiful. Really. Pag nakita mo, ligawan mo kagad eh. And so, alam mo naman, si, di, nag mga nag-one-liner ako, di ba? Ganyan and then finally, he says that she, uh, she's a born-again Christian. She's a born-again Christian. And then I told her, oh, where do you go to church? Can I come? Oh, uh, di ba? I gusto ko lang ligawan. I never met that lady not after six months. But this word, born again, stuck into my mind. Ito yung prayer ko eh. This is my prayer. Uh, I can start all over again. But is it possible? I don't think it's possible. Again, the Lord used a lady again. Another lady. You see, minsan, sabi mo sa katabi mo, kayang gamitin ng Panginoon yung, yung weakness mo. Right? Because God knows us. Right? Right? And then that lady came and invited me to attend a seminar like this. And I went, and as I went there, I wanted to go out. Sabi ko, ang corny naman. Paano yung nagpipris ganito? Sino? <laughs> si Jesus! Hindi ka ba naman aalis niyan? Hindi ka ba naman aalis niyan? So I started to go out and then, but, you know, the moment I came, I went in, time in my car, something heavy came in. So I went back again Cut the story short, no bottom line, I received Jesus Christ. And my life was never the same again. I got rid of my alcohol. I got rid of my cigarette. All of the women that came in my life, I got, I got rid. I, you know, I asked God, Lord, can I speak to them and ask forgiveness for what I have done? And they called me in the span of one year. They called me. And then I shared to them, Jesus Christ. And the response is that, Oh, ikaw ba? <laughs> and then I met my, my ex-girlfriend. No, I met my wife, Sheila. And cut the story short, we got married 1990. Two children, 1995. But in 1995, see, I thought life was already okay. But I still have things in me that God wants to shape. Amen? So in 1995, the verdict, because I was, you know, I was, uh, that, that accident, remember that accident? I was put to court and it ended after 10 years, the Supreme Court told, uh, decided, Willie Rica Prente, you are guilty. You go and serve. Not in a jail or a city jail, but in the 
National Penitentiary in Muntinlupa. And that was the time na magulo pa sa Muntinlupa before. Ganyan na itsura ko noon. Yung katabi ko po dyan, drug lord. Drug lord po yan. Kung gusto niyo makita, wala akong bigote yan. Parang itlog. <laughs> but there, but there, I receive a word from God. It says, all things will work together for the good of those who love God, whom He has called for a, for a purpose. For those whom He For he foreknew, he predestined to be in the, image, in the image and likeness of his son, that he should be the firstborn among many brothers. Dito po ako, like clay, dinalisay ng Panginoon. And then, miracles upon miracles happen in my life. God's protection. Twice, no? Twice, my life was threatened there. And then, I got released. When I got released, I went back. I went back. to Minted Lupa, to minister to my friends there. And for two years, I, I kept on coming at least four times a week I was there. And there I became a pastor. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, mukha ka bang pastor? Because I never knew that I can be a pastor. Never knew. I never wanted to be a pastor, man. Never knew. Never even imagined that I can be a pastor. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you know, you cannot change God's plan. You know, He will, His love, His love will really push you until finally you recognize Him. Amen? Amen. Before, patap-tap lang sa akin si Lord. Magbago ka na, magbago ka na, magbago ka na. Until finally, binato ka na ako. Sinabi ko na magbago ka na eh. <laughs> Sabi mo sa katabi mo, bakit ba mamabatukan ka ha? And finally, I received the Lord Jesus Christ. And I became a changed man. If anyone be in Christ, he is a new creation. The past has gone, and behold, the new has come. And this is who I am right now. If I did not respond to God's call, hindi tayo magkakilala. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, marami ka pang makikilala. In fact, marami ka pang ipakikilala sa Panginoon. Amen? Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. I'd like to share with you, this, early, early on I told you that I can prove to you that you have a gift. I can prove to you that you have a gift. A gift that you do not know you have. Amen? This morning, I'm going to call a sister in Christ who will share to you her testimony in such a way, in such a way that in such a way that kayo na lang magsabi mo maya. In such a way that you will be touched. In such a way that you will be awed. Siya ba yan? Siya pala yun. Kaya niya, kaya ko rin. Amen? Praise God. Can we turn the lights off, please? Can we turn the lights off? And let's, let's give the Lord a cup lap offering for our sister. Dati po mahihain ito. Ngayon mahihain pa rin. Pero dahil sa Panginoon, kaya niya. Okay? Alright. Taas. Yan. Okay? Balak pa ka naman natin. Madilim ang paligid. Nag-iisip, nadilito, naguguluhan. 
punong-puno ng pigati ang puso kong nagdaramdam. Ang mga luhang saksi lamang, ang kumot at unan, naghahanap ng kasagutan, sagot sa aking nararamdaman. Ako ang pagod sa laban. Ako ang talunan. Ako ang napag-iwanan. Ang mga ngiti, maskara sa tunay kong nararamdaman upang hindi na sila magtanong dahil hindi naman nila maiintindihan. Takot sa aking isipan na walang nakakaalam. Dalawang taon, dalawang dekada, may katapusan pa ba? Pagod na puso. Di ko na alam kung saan ako tutungo. Tatlong taon, tatlong tanong, ang pilit kong inalam. Hanggang kailan? Hanggang saan? Bakit ako? Bakit sa akin nangyari ang gulong ito? Mahirap mabuhay sa mundong ito. Ang sabi nila, ako ay magpakatatag. Ngunit paano ko aharapin ang bukas kung ang apat na sulok ng tahanan ay biglang bumagsak? Ang ama na aking sandigan ay bigla nalang kinuha. Ang aking mga pangarap, mahirap ng mata mo. Paano ko aharapin ang bukas kung sa paggising ko ay paggising rin ang sakit na aking nadarama? Kaya sa bagong umaga, magpapakalulong na lang ako. Maniniwala sa sinasabi ng mundong. Manap ka ng pag-ibig. Nakakalinga sa iyong kalungkutan at papawi sa lahat ng iyong nararanasan. Isa, dalawa, lima, sampu, dalawampu. Hindi ko na mabilang sa aking mga daliri. Kala ko, Ingatan mo ako. Akala ko, alagaan mo ako. Akala ko, mahal mo ako. Iiwan mo rin pala ako. Ganito ba ang pag-ibig na ibinibigay ng mundo? Panandalian lang, pansamanta lang, kaligayahan lang. Oo. Naniwala ako sa sinasabi ng mundong ikay bigo, ikay talunan, wala ka ng pag-asa. Sakit. Ayoko na. Nagmahal. Sinaktan. Iniwanan. Tigil na. Ang sakit. Sakit na, lugmok na, lugmok na ako. Sa gitna ng mundong sisigawan, naghihiyawan, naggigit-gitan at nagtutulakan, isang tinig ang aking narinig. Pagod ka na ba? Oo. Pagod. Napagod na ako. Sa aking laban, pinakala ko na ikay wala na. Ngunit sa dulo ng aking laban ay dumating ka. At sinabi mong, mahal na mahal kita. Akin na lahat ng iyong agam-agam, akin na lahat ng iyong lungkot, ng hirap, ng sakit na iyong nararamdaman. At sinabi mong, mahal kita at wala akong hindi makakaya. Ngayon, naiintindihan ko na na ang pag-ibig na ibinibigay ng mundo ay hindi ang pag-ibig na kukumpleto sa aking pagkatao. Ngayon, alam ko na na ang hinahanap-hanap kong pag-ibig ay si Jesus. Siya ang, ang kasama.
sinagutan. Iwanan ka man ng mundo, wala ma silang pakialam sa'yo na indyan ang Diyos para sa'yo. At sasabihin niyang, mahal na mahal kita at sa akin, punong-puno ka ng halaga. Ngayon, alam ko na, may mga bagay akong binigyan ng halaga Ngunit, natutunan ko na siyang tanggapin at pakawalan. Dahil hindi ang nais ko ay mga dahilan, ang mga kasagutan, kundi pagtitiwala na sa lahat ng bagay, ikaw ang bahala. Ngayon, alam ko na. Ngayon, naiintindihan ko na na may isang taong napako upang kuwani ng lahat ng pangusga. May isang taong napako, piniling mamatay para sa akin, para sa iyo. Ngayon, naiintindihan ko na na ang pag-ibig na hinahanap-hanap ko, na ang pag-ibig na kukumpleto sa aking pagkatao, na ang pag-ibig ang anak sa iyo ay tawag, na ang pag-ibig na ako ay lahat-lahat. Si Jesus ang kasagutan. Siya ang buhay. Sa oras na ito, nais kong ipagsigawang mahal na mahal kita. Ito ang bagong simula. Ito ang bagong buhay. Si Jesus, siya ang ating pag-asa. Ano mang laban ng buhay, siya ay kasama mo. Ipinagpalit niya ang kaharian, ipinagpalit niya ang langit, upang iparating sa'yo na siya'y kasama mo. Ngayon, naiintindihan ko na. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tanong mo sa katabi mo, kapatid, ikaw, naiintindihan mo na ba? Praise the Lord. Napakasarap mapakinggan ang isang katotohanan. Ang buhay ay hindi sayang. Kapag ikaw ay na kay Kristo, bagong nila lang ay mabubuhay sa pangalan niya. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Amen. Let me just pray for you. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for you continue to be in the business of changing lives. But you cannot change a life, Lord God, unless we allow you to. You created us this way. You created us in a way that we can make a choice, Lord God. And thank you, Lord God, for the life of Rose, for the life of your servant, Lord God, and the lives of many who are here today who can rightly stand up and tell everyone, I used to be somebody. I used to be somebody. But now, I can never be somebody without Christ. I am a new creation. My past has gone. I am now a new person in Christ. And I can trust the Word of God rather than the world. That I will not allow the world to shape who I am. It will allow the Word of God to tell me who I am. Thank you, Lord, that each and every one of us here are precious in your sight. We are valuable in your sight. That you love us so much, you gave your only begotten Son. And Jesus, thank you for your love. The love, your love that is like, that's equal to the love of the Father. You left your heavenly abode, Lord, to be with us. Thank you for showing us the way. Thank you for cleansing us. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. 
we partake of it.